Welcome back to my channel, Classic Volkswagen Lover. This is Junior with Classic BW Bucks and Sonny the Super Beetle Full Restoration. Uh, today I'm going to be re-ringing my, my pistons for my 1600 dual port. I got these at the Volkswagen Fest last year. Um, these company, these rings have been in the market since 1922. This is a good brand. I paid like 39, I think it was $39 for these. Um, actually $35.99 for these a good brand so when I unbox them uh, the first thing I always do I always when I unbox these I look at the manufacturer instructions uh, for the ring installation you always want to make sure you take a look at the instructions and read them to the T to make sure that you're following their guidance um, another thing I want to mention is that this, this company does a really good job at wrapping these rings. One, because in the plastic wrap that they provide to you, they point out exactly where each ring goes uh, installed. And it tells you where like your compression rings, they go install. Which, but I mean, it's so detailed the way that they wrap these. That it's, I think it's a great job that they are doing at marketing this product when you uh, get ready to install your your rings make sure that all of those groups are clean make sure that they're nice and clean and that you don't have any type of uh, grease or grime in there then you want to take one of your rings and do a, a trial and error fit so make sure that they actually go in there easy the next thing I want to find out is that when you're installing your your rings these have a orientation um, and what that means is that they have a top and they have a bottom So uh, make sure you look for a marking or a label that reads top. Uh, sometimes you might see the letter uh, T for tango or sometimes you may see a little dimple uh, that it's the uh, uh, indication that that's the top of your, of your ring. When I install it in here, this is the top of my piston that text that reads top is going to be installed up in that direction. Um, reason why I, I mentioned that it's important that you read the instructions is because it gives you a good idea as to what you're dealing with. Uh, there's two ways you can install these rings. You can either do them with your bare hands, uh, no tools at all, or if you prefer, the best way is to have a ring expander which pretty much you grab your two ends of your ring with the pliers and you expand it enough for you to be able to slide it down into the piston groove and then let it free to sit in the groove. I'm going to go ahead and start um, installing my rings and I'm going to start with the uh, oil expander ring right here and these don't have a orientation uh, as opposed to the uh, compression rings. So I'm going to start with the oil expander. They do have uh, two uh, color tips. One is red and one it's uh, green in this case here. And basically I'm just going to use my hand to install it. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and open it. And with one hand I'm going to hold and the thumb one end right there and I'm going to slide it around and there we install our first one here. Then we take one of the uh, feeler rings here and we'll just put one in the bottom of that and one in the top which basically is going to sandwich that ring and we'll do the same step. We'll just go ahead and um, hold one end one end of the uh, ring with our thumb 
like so. And we'll just go ahead and roll it around the piston, making sure we are careful not to scratch the piston. So we got that one in there. And then we take the other one here and we do the same thing. So we just go ahead and hold one in right there. Roll this here around. And so we now have our, our bottom install then we go ahead and uh, install our second ring here which is our one of our compression rings and you want to make sure that again you look at the top marking that says top that's the orientation for that and basically you do the same thing, you line up one end and then you hold it, your thumb, and you roll, you roll it, and it's in there. And we do the next one, which is the last one right here, making sure the word top. It's at the top right there and again we'll go ahead and hold one end in place like so and then we will just go ahead and roll it and that's it now that I have installed all of my rings I'm not done I have to align the the ring so normally um, you see in a lot of the instructions that it recommends that you install your oil expander perpendicular to your wrist pin but earlier uh, you heard me mention that it's important that you read the instructions and here's the reason why so for these rings when you read here it tells you install the expander spacer in clean oil ring groove with the gap directly above the pinhole so basically what they're saying is in these instructions here to install this bottom ring pretty much aligned with that hole normally and traditionally i would do the opposite i would install that perpendicular to that in other words nine degrees but um, I'm just going to go with these instructions and uh, see what happens. Um, and then once you do that, then the next thing you want to do is the two rings that sandwich that spacer is you want to set them one to the left and one to the right. Uh, and you want to space them about one inch apart. So basically you roll that in that direction. You can use your nail or you can use something just to push it. Basically, you just want to go in that direction. Then we'll go ahead and move this back to the center. And then we'll take the other top that it's sandwiching that and we'll just roll it. We're actually clocking it about inch to an inch and a quarter away from the expander we'll do the same thing with the one on the bottom that's about one inch if you look at the instructions here it says install the remaining steel rails below the expander spacer the gap of the steel rail should be one to two inches uh, to the right of the expander so one to two inches will, will be fine then 
you have your compression ring here is you want to clock them uh, to where you have one of the uh, gap openings stagger with the other one so basically you have them this is the wrist pin this is the other side of the piston and then I have uh, the second compression spring about right here and the other one about here and then you repeat the same process for all four of them I'm gonna save these instructions because it was uh, curious to me to find out that um, it says to install it like that I'm gonna I'm just gonna go with the instructions and that's it we have all of our four uh, pistons uh, with all of the uh, piston rings installed. Uh, that's it. Uh, just keep in mind that it's important that you follow the manufacturer instructions. Um, as you can see, what I told you, uh, traditionally I would install that uh, expander perpendicular to the wrist pin hole, but the instructions here tells me to do uh, totally <laughs> the opposite to have it lined up with the hole but anyway um, uh, that's it for today um, if you like the contents of my video give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel and share my video with somebody else until then this is junior with classic bw bucks junior out